click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends today we are going to discuss about the operation and the working principle of a boost converter So friends, in the earlier lecture, we discussed about what a buck converter is. A buck converter is a device, as we discussed earlier, which converts a high value of DC input to a comparatively low value of DC output. However, in this video, we are going to discuss about what a boost converter is. A boost converter, as the name specifies, the boost converter converts a low value of input DC voltage to a comparatively high value of output DC voltage. Now, let's see how the circuit diagram of a boost converter look like. Let's say I have got an input supply, which is DC and the circuit diagram of a boost converter consists of an inductor let's say l be the inductance and i have got a mosfet which is a n type of mosfet and i have got a diode here i have got a output capacitor here and i have got a resistive load here let's say this is the resistance value is R, which is a load resistance. Let C be the capacitance. Let Q be the switch. D be the free wheeling diode. And L be the inductor. Now, let's say I L be the inductive current that is flowing through the inductor. Let's say V A is the capacitive voltage. Now, let's say I C is the capacitive current. I naught is the output current. And VA is the instantaneous value of the output voltage and capital VA becomes the average value of the output voltage. Now friends, if you can see, when the switch is on, the inductor gets charged and when the switch is off, the inductor gets discharged through this circuit through a free wheeling diode. Now, when the switch is on, that means, let's say, K be the duty cycle, Now, let's say T be the total time period and let's say T1 is the on time and T minus T1 be the off time. From 0 to T1, when the inductor starts charging, we have the equation as or the let's draw the circuit diagram first. When the inductor charges that means when the switch is on the circuit diagram somehow looks like this so this is vs inductor this is the circuit diagram an inductive current il flows or il starts flowing through the inductor and the inductor ch charges so this is from the time period 0 to t1 however from the time period t1 to T, we have got the inductor getting discharged. So the circuit looks like this. This is open now because this is the switch is off right now, and I've got a diode here, output capacitor, and an output register. Let's say Vs is the input voltage, L is the inductance, C is the capacitance, and R is the resistive load, and D be the diode. Now friends, let's calculate what will be the voltage across an inductor. As we all know, VL, where VL is the voltage across the inductor, is equal to Li2 minus I1, which we already calculated in terms of the boost converter, into T1, that is equal to L delta I by T1, where I1 is the initial inductor current and I2 is the peak inductor current. That means the inductor is getting charged from the value I1 to a value I2 during the time 0 to T1 or 0 to T on. Now, with this formula, T1 becomes delta I L divided by Vs. Now, let's calculate what happens during discharging. During discharging, the current drops down from I2 to I1. Here, so we have the voltage across the inductor or we apply the Kirchhoff voltage law in the discharging circuit, we get 
वी ए माइनस वी एस इक्वल टू एल डेल्टा आई बाई टी टू वेर टी टू इज द ऑफ टाइम लेट से सो फ्रेंड्स हियर इफ यू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ टी टू वी गेट एल डेल्टा आई डिवाइडेड बाई वी ए माइनस वी एस नाउ लेट्स सी हाउ द ग्राफ बिटवीन वेरियस फैक्टर्स विद रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम लुक लाइक इन केस ऑफ एन बूस्ट कन्वर्टर नाउ फ्रेंड्स If I draw the graph between the input voltage and the time, let's say K T is the on time and T is the total time interval. So, friends, if we draw the voltage, or if we draw the graph between the output voltage V naught with respect to time from zero to K T, as there is no output voltage across the load because the inductor gets charged, we don't get any voltage across the resistive resistor from time T equal to zero to K T. But when the time is between K T to T, where inductor starts getting discharged. and the current flows through the output resistive load and we get the output voltage across the resistive load here the voltage becomes somehow like this again from t to the next on time again it becomes zero for example let's say this is k1t again this is the same wave form continues now friend if we draw the graph between the time period and the inductor current as we all know from 0 to kt inductor gets charged from k to t again it starts discharging from t to k1t which is the next duty cycle again it gets charged again it gets discharged now the peak value of the inductor current will be i2 and the initial value of the inductor current will be i1 now friends let's draw the graph between the capacitive current and the time interval so the capacitive current will somehow look like this starting from a negative constant again coming to the peak to a specific time value that is equal to up to time t let's say this is kt and the capacitor start from a negative value which is equal to ia so when the switch is off the capacitor starts discharging again it follows the same method so this is how a capacitive current look like now friends let's draw the circuit diagram the voltage across the capacitor let's say this is vc and this is t so the voltage across the capacitors where is like this so here it start discharging again charging again discharging and again charging now friends let's see the output current which is equal to i not with respect to time so we get a constant value of i not however remember friends the output voltage will be greater than the input voltage let's say how does it happen mathematically now friends as we know t2 is equal to delta i l divided by va minus vs now let's talk about the ripple current across the inductor so delta i will be equal to vs into t1 divided by l which is equal to va minus vs into t2 divided by l where t1 is equal to k into t and t2 is equal to 1 minus k into t now friends if we calculate further we get v not is equal to vs divided by 1 minus k and as we know vs into is is equal to va into ia that is equal to vs into ia divided by 1 minus k if we assume that there is no switching loss or the switching loss is absolutely zero so by putting this value in the equation we get is is equal to i not divided by 1 minus k now let's calculate what will be the value of the total time period that is equal to 1 by f 1 by frequency which becomes t1 plus t2 that is equal to delta i l v a divided by v s into v a minus v s so that will be the total value of the time period now the peak to peak ripple current will be equal to v s into v a minus v s 
डिवाइडेड बाय एफ एल वी ए और आई कैन इजीली से डेल्टा आई इज इक्वल टू वी एस इंटू के डिवाइडेड बाय एफ इंटू एल सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वेन एवर यू कैलकुलेट द मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर एनी कन्वर्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट वॉट हैपन्स ड्यूरिंग चार्जिंग वॉट हैपन्स ड्यूरिंग डिस्चार्जिंग लेट्स कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द चार्जिंग टाइम द डिस्चार्जिंग टाइम देन कैलकुलेट द टोटल टाइम पीरियड एंड कैलकुलेट द रिपल इंडक्टिव वोल्टेज कैलकुलेट द आउटपुट वोल्टेज एंड कैलकुलेट द रेशियो ऑफ द आउटपुट वोल्टेज टू द इनपुट वोल्टेज सो दैट यू कैन एक्जैक्टली नो द एक्सटेंड अप टू विच द आउटपुट वोल्टेज गॉट इंक्रीज और गॉट डिक्रीज Thank you so much friends for watching this video please subscribe to Ikeda and stay tuned to Ikeda thank you so much